What do you do for a living? I have clinics in Milan and in Malta, medical clinics. And I am the agent of Samsung in Malta as well. I do micropigmentation. How do you invest your money? Some property in Finland. Well, Malta is a very good investment for property. Any worst experience you have had finding through an agent? I haven't had bad experiences when buying property, no. Luckily, I didn't have that. There's a lot of people in the US are very nice. Listen your clients, please. And uh, actually, they run late for the appointment no so far no they do not listen what is their requirement finding a property a rental investment you prefer finding by yourself or finding someone from the agencies it's better sometimes to to use agencies you know they can guide you better especially if you don't have time if you're busy because i have requirements that is very difficult to find in the nowadays and another thing i don't have time because i have my own business so i focus on my things there are very good agents in my Yo guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel again. Today I'm on the street asking people regarding real estate market. How do they invest their money in a property or somewhere else? In terms of the market, how they are finding a property or how they work with the agents. It is important for us and if you are also a real estate agent, this video will help you for sure. Stick till the end. This video I'm making it by purpose because I'm also a real estate agent. I need to know from the client's experience what we do wrong that people don't like or it irritates the clients. It is very important to stick on the problems and to solve it out. Once you are solving it out, people of course will like you. They will give their business to you to work it out out. Today's video sponsor is Valix Property. Check my properties where I'm listing it and you will enjoy for sure. Also, you are the sponsor for today's video as always. Let's go to interview people. Don't forget hit the like and subscribe button. Your name, age and where are you from? I'm Juliana. I'm from Argentina and I'm 24. What do you do for a living? I'm on vacation now, but before I was working in a lab in the US. That's great. For from US, you came here for vacation. Yes, but, but for like a three month vacation in Europe. Wow. Yeah. What a vacation is it? Three months in Europe. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it's good so far. Okay, you live in the US. Yes. Okay, and do you own a property or you are renting out there? I'm renting. Uh, why you don't want to buy or what is stopping you for buying? At the cost, it's really mm -hmm. expensive, mm -hmm. mostly where, where I live in LA. Mm -hmm. How do yeah. you feel renting and paying someone's loan rather than saving up and buying yourself? Well, I don't think there's an option, you know, it's kind of like I got used to. There's no other option at this point in my life rather mm -hmm. than just paying rent. So, mm -hmm. of course, when I think about it, it's not ideal. But yeah, this part of my life, I don't okay. see that happening. Would you rather rent forever or save up to buy to own your own property? I just don't think both of them, like it's an option because or I have to rent to then also save. Like I need to save money because of my job. But then like what, where would I live in the meantime? Like I don't have my family there to kind of like live in their house. And it's also something that I won't like to do. Not now. So I don't really have another option than right. renting. Sure. It would be great to save, but mm -hmm. I couldn't save and not rent. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sure. For like soon, you will have an option. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. 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 If you have, positive. let's say, if you have half a mil on a side, an extra, would you invest for property or somewhere else, a business or stocks or some currencies? Maybe stocks because I don't know exactly where I want to live. Like maybe I want to move to Europe, so I couldn't decide of buying a property. So how did you find your that property in the US through an agent or you found by yourself? An agency. Okay. Why did you choose finding through an agent? Just security. Maybe mm -hmm. I prefer to be sure that I could find a reliable place to live. And if something happens, I know that I could complain to someone and, you know, like that's that's ideally why to mm. security is there any fear that you have about having a property by yourself maybe the maintenance you don't want to hassle or the mortgage or whatever or as soon as you have enough money you would buy one well maintain a house it's not 
that easy, but it depends where you live. And if I have a stable job, uh, I don't think there will be any problem about it. Mm -hmm. I, I'll double think about <laughs> buying a house first. Mm -hmm. uh, and if I can maintain it, no, I don't think that will be an issue. Do you think these days agents are just trying to sell rather than having empathy or listening to their clients exactly what they want to help it out, not only for selling or not for renting? Well, that's a tough one. Uh, I think it really depends on your agency. And um, yeah, I mean, they do want to sell it, uh, of course. That's where they live for. And and I totally understand that. I have that empathy too. That's why that's what they do for a living. But it really depends on what's the agency that you pick. Uh, I think there's a lot of people in the U.S. are very nice. And I don't know here in Europe, but I found that there's a lot of people um, that could I guess honestly show you a place and um, it really depends. I couldn't tell you specifically because all agencies are different. Do you have any example that agents example. do, like a common mistakes they do it and it irritates the clients? Maybe they ask so much stuff. Uh, um, maybe you're not really sure if you want to buy it or not, but they just ask so many questions about your job, about what you want to do in the future. And maybe that's something that if you're not sure that you want to buy, you will just prefer to avoid that when you're looking at a property. Um, isn't it just because of having more information to find the, the best one? Or what is this for? I think you can definitely ask for. Uh, if you want more information, I will definitely ask for it because when you want a property, buy it or renting, uh, you want to make sure about everything, that everything is going to be good for your schedule. Yeah, the location or security, whatever you're looking for. So I just think that if that's the main thing, you will ask for it as a client. Yeah, great. And at the end, as I, what is the worst experience you have encountered while searching an apartment? Well, I mean, luckily I didn't have that. Maybe the location, mm -hmm. because I just didn't ask specifically about how was the um, involvement around. Like, I will mm -hmm. just say, okay, it's close to my job or it's close to wherever I was um, going to college. But then I don't think I honestly got a good answer about the neighborhood or mm -hmm. because it wasn't really secure. Um, and I would have liked to know better before moving that that wasn't really a safe area. And maybe before getting the place, or renting the place, uh, that would have been nice to know. Besides the location, what's the most important thing for the finding a property? Besides the location um, that is well maintained, I'll say, that's really important. Um, mostly it's, it's really expensive to have to afford um, also, of course, maintain it, but if something happens to you last the minute, uh, that's really expensive to get, at least in the U.S. I don't know here, but I bet it is. Or also, find it fast. If something happens in your property, you want that to fix it as soon as possible. Okay. So location is important, and then also the fact that they could maintain it. Um, property. Location and condition, Yeah. important. And what else? Do you have example or no? Well, I mean, location makes, I think, everything because mm -hmm. you want a place that you're safe and that you can go around and meet people around you that are not going to try to steal you or something. Yeah. Uh, so I think that, that's very important more than other stuff. That makes sense. And any best piece of advice for real estate agents as a client? I'll say be clear of what the place is like um, because you don't... You don't want to show something to a client and then just paint it in a in a way that it's not it. I think you have to be very consistent and try to. Uh, in my opinion, you just want somebody who wants to be honest with you um, about how much it costs to maintain the house, for example. Like just not know out of the blue that this was uh, the price per month and you were not expecting it. Um, yeah, even like neighbors that you want to know. Um, yeah, I think that that's an important thing that probably I will advise to. Thank you very much. No, Good okay. luck. Hello, your name, age, and where are you from? Tony, 37, and from Finland. How long do you live in Malta? Uh, seven years now. And you are renting here or you have your own property? Uh, we're renting. Why do you want to rent rather than buying your own property? Well, in Malta, I'm just used to renting. For me, mm -hmm. when I'm from Finland, I feel more safe to buy from Finland than from mm -hmm. a foreign country. If you have a chance for buying, 
would you still go for renting or buying? Uh, buying always. Mm -hmm. For how long you want to stay in Malta? Probably a year or two more. How did you find your property where you are living at the moment? Through an agent or by yourself? Uh, through an agent. Okay. It was easy finding through an agent or why did you choose for finding through someone? Back when I found my current place it was easier to use mm -hmm. agencies. But how about now? Now, probably with my network here, it would be easier to just ask for friends. And okay, that makes sense. But uh, let's say that you have some extra money on a side. Would you still invest for property or investing somewhere else, maybe stock or any businesses? A bit of both. But I think when it comes to property, I, I'm not sure if I would invest in Malta or mm -hmm. another country. But investing in property, is this still a smart decision or not at all these today's economy depends from an area right yeah. I mean there's areas that will always pick up in value and mm -hmm. there's areas that are less populated that you take more of a risk mm -hmm. these days maybe you have experience you heard from someone else finding through an agent do you think that they are helping you or they just do for selling they want to sell it only or renting it well, I think they want to make their commission, right? <laughs> that, that, right. That's their job. Okay. But uh, they are not approaching at a friendly way or what is the problem you are seeing from them? Uh, well, I haven't been looking for places in, in, in many years. Mm -hmm. But from friends, a common thing that I hear is that they give a budget and then they get offered one or two K above that budget. Oh, maybe that frustrates them. Yeah, I mean, I. I'm not sure how it goes, if they make more when the, when the value is higher, mm -hmm. but that's a common trend that I hear with trends. What do you do for a living? I work in iGaming. Okay. For how long is it? Seven years since you came here? Yeah, those seven years. Mm -hmm. And you want to continue that career? Uh, for now, for sure, yes. Okay. How do you invest your money? A bit of crypto, uh, some property in Finland, mm -hmm. some stocks. Uh, quite spread. In, in Finland you have properties? In Finland I have properties. Okay. Yes. You bought by yourself or also through some companies or agencies they were offering their service? Through an agent, mm -hmm. but this was an uh, agent who I know, so kind of a friend. Any worst experience you have had finding through an agent? I haven't had bad experiences mm -hmm. when buying property, no. I've, I've been finding been here? Here, finding properties, I haven't been very unlucky. I always, like now I feel like I get good value out of it. Mm -hmm. For people in their early age, they want to own a property, but they are afraid that maybe in the early age, in, in my early 20s, and having a property, it will be a bit hassle for maintenance or maybe a dealing with the mortgage, something like that. Mm -hmm. What advice you would give to them? If you're not willing to do the work, outsource, mm -hmm. But I think the best advice is just go through the process of learning it yourself. Mm -hmm. So it will come easy. When it becomes uh, something um, like you build a habit, mm -hmm. it will become easy. Like with everything, right? Yeah, yeah. You build a habit one or two months and then you do it in your sleep. That's great. And at the end, any best piece of advice for real estate agents? I mean, stick to what, what the customer wants. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if you get a budget, try to stick to the budget, mm -hmm. to the areas. That's great. Thank you very much. Hello, your name, age, and where are you from? Um, I'm Maltese, uh, Lorraine, and I'm 48. What do you do for a living? I have clinics in Milan and in Malta, medical clinics. Wow. And I am the agent of Samsung Malta as well. Wow. You are a business owner, mm -hmm. and at the same time, you have a brand representative, something. Yes. I am. For how long you are working in the industry? Well, Samsung since forever like uh, i think i believe i was 18 years old and the medical clinics uh, have been uh, up and running for six years and i started the um, research and stuff about two years before so that would make it like about eight years and all okay and that's great do you have your own property or you are renting no i have my own property Okay. Why did you decide for buying your own? Well, Malta is a very good investment for property. Mm -hmm. I mean, the market keeps its prices, not only, I, they keep on rising, because obviously land here is limited, so I'm Maltese, I mean, why wouldn't I buy my homeland, you know, so... Yeah, yeah. but uh, the money what you are bringing from your business, you are investing for property mainly? I invest quite a bit for property, but obviously um, uh, we have a business going 
which uh, is a very very big business you know like mm -hmm. so obviously um, that there's money that is allocated to that business and then money that is allocated to the property business as well okay. that's good but uh, finding a property a rental investment you prefer finding by yourself or finding someone from the agencies no I, if I could find something on my own it's fine but it's better sometimes to, to use agencies you know mm -hmm. they can guide you better especially if you don't have time if you're busy and you don't have time sourcing and looking up property, it's, it's better to, to work through an agency. Okay. And there are very good agents in Malta, so. They are helping you out and saving time for you. Exactly. Okay, rather than exactly. doing yourself, exactly. yeah. yeah. And have you had any, maybe bad experience while looking for property through an agent? No, mm -hmm. so far, no. Okay. What's the best part of uh, the agencies they are helping you and in what sense they are helping you mainly ah, well you know I mean uh, you you also you 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 give them an idea of, mm -hmm. of, of what you want to buy and then they try to to filter and mm -hmm. uh, meet your expectations meet your needs faster you know mm -hmm. rather than um, uh, going to look for it yourself, you know, and sourcing. All right, you could get a car and drive around and mm -hmm. look for something yourself. But it depends how busy you are. I mean, I'm very busy and so is my husband, so. Ah, that makes sense, actually. But what makes a person who is a real estate agent mm -hmm. standing out in a business and also doing well rather than others? What makes them different? Well, I think you keep going back to the same agent, especially if uh, you've done well with him in the past. You know, if he's, uh, if he's brought you a property, which was not difficult, if, especially if you're going to resell it, mm -hmm. you know, so other than a property which would lie there idle and nobody wants it. But obviously then there's the property negotiator, but then we live in the, on the island, so we know what works here and what doesn't. Mm -hmm. So. There's 50% property negotiator and 50% your job as well. His job is to find the property, but then you have to evaluate whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, you know, whether the pros and the cons, you know, so... Um, but it, it, all, it depends how busy you are. It depends if it's, it's not my full-time job, so I can never do it, you know, all the time. And uh, I have other things to do. Then if they bring something interesting, why not, you know? Okay. And uh, regarding the rental investment, what you are mainly focusing on? What is the important thing for you? Well, rental, what do you mean? Like, it depends if it's residential or commercial. I mean, there is it's the location it's always the location location is is the key factor i mean i believe in buying in certain areas in malta so i wouldn't invest in others you know and i would stick to areas which for me are safe are considered safe areas you know okay. the location yeah for uh, sure the most important thing and that where is, else that is primarily you know the location is is of utmost importance because you do you live here yeah you live here you know that so one location is, is better than the other, so mm -hmm. I, I believe that location is, is for me, uh, it's, it's, it's always location, location, location. Mm -hmm. Then obviously, whether there's sunlight, whether it's a very busy road, you know, other factors um, mm -hmm. as well contribute. Sea views, no sea views, you know, so. Uh, in today's economy, investing in a property is a wise financial decision sure. or investing somewhere else no no for sure property mm -hmm. remains a good investment why, why so well as i said uh, limit property is very limited in malta mm -hmm. and if you see because i i um, i have a property as well in milan mm -hmm. but uh, the, ra the the rate the, re the increase here and the way it holds its value I believe is sometimes even greater than in, in certain cities. I'm not talking about London, obviously, because uh, London, you know, is, is, stands out, you know, very much for itself. But even Milan. But having said that, Malta's property, like, uh, holds its value very, very well, especially if you buy in certain locations. Okay. As a foreigner, you bought in Milan mm -hmm. and what experience you got from there or how was the different finding someone in Malta in your own land and uh, in comparison in Milan? Well, uh, I must say it was very straightforward mm -hmm. to buy. So there was no, uh, it was, mm, you, you make a proposal with a price and they either accept it or they don't, you know, so and then there is no such thing as uh, 
you're blocking the property. Once they accept the proposal, you don't even need to leave a down payment. Mm -hmm. The property is technically yours, and then you just go and sign the deed. That's it. So it's very, very straightforward as well. That's great. And at the end, as a client side, what is the best piece of advice you would give for the agents? Agents, I mean, as far as they keep on doing, you know, their job well, but I wonder if, because I, I really don't know, whether they have any input, what they are actually building in Malta, you know, I mean, but I don't think this boils down to the agent. I think it's more, the, the, it would be nice and it would be very good if the agent carries his weight um, uh, when it comes to um, uh, construction in Malta, like giving advice, because obviously they're touching the market, you know, physically, um, rather than just issuing permits behind the computer. And uh, sometimes I see buildings which uh, leave me like a ghost. I mean, well, if an agent is selling this kind of property or something which is like a pencil building, I suggest not even selling it at all, even, I mean, renouncing to a commission, I know. But, I mean, putting your name or being attached to something which is going to be built in such a horrible manner, I mean, I just wouldn't do it because Malta has very good potential, the land is, is scarce, so obviously uh, the value is there, but let's do something better. I believe we can do something better and we'll, we're still in time. But if we're going to keep on, you know, turning a blind eye, then uh, things are not going to remain as beautiful, you know, as, as it was. And I believe it's, it's naturally, it's like it's really beautiful, you know. I mean, we have good weather. This is not a joke. I've just come from Milan. And we're still with uh, sleeveless, wear, you know, so we have a lot, you know, which can attract, you know, but let's take care of what we have rather than just go for it, you know, full on. Because myself, I am very much in favor of construction, obviously, but let's do it um, in a very, very um, healthy way, you know, not at the expense of building horrible stuff, which possibly will be pulled down in the next 50 years when people wake up, you know, and say, what on earth did we build here? You know, so that's my view about this. Uh, so Amazing. We appreciate, we truly appreciate your effort and speaking with us, also giving your experience and your advice for you people well, like us. Yeah. Yo, guys, you here, clients are always saying that you have to listen to your clients. You have to understand what we want as a client because otherwise they cannot help you out you are an agent and you are also thinking how to work out well and how to stand out on the business this is the only way I'm making video and sharing with you also helping for myself helping you and building our community let's go to interview another person your name age and where are you from I'm Joanna and I'm from Poland what do you do for a living well, I have my own business here. Hi. I do micropigmentation. Okay, you are in beauty industry. Yes. So, for how long you are living in Malta? Well, pretty long. Mm -hmm. Eight years. Very good. And do you own a property or you are renting? At the moment I'm renting. Okay. Why do you rent rather than buying it? Well, I am in, in the moment at the uh, on the stage of buying it, so <laughs> I am in the middle. Okay. So, you actively searching a uh, property for yourself or...? Yeah. Haven't decided yet. Yes, I already searched. Oh, okay. In terms of for looking for apartment, you are going with the agents or by yourself? Agents. Why did you choose for finding property through an agent rather than by yourself? Because I have a requirement that is very difficult to find in mm -hmm. the nowadays. And another thing, I don't have time because I have my own business. So I focus on right. my things. So, as a business owner, you need someone to help you for saving time for you, yes? Yes. And the agents coming to the stage. Yes, exactly. Oh, okay. But have you had any bad experience with the agents? Well, unfortunately, yes. And mm -hmm. most of the time I have bad experience with the renting. So that's why I want right. to buy an apartment because the rent is terrible. Right. <laughs> How do you feel like working with agents? What kind of challenges you have faced with them? What they are doing wrong? They do not listen what is their requirement from the client. They, they just send me anything what is available on the market. And uh, actually they run late for the appointment or they do not uh, provide information that are really crucial. Okay. And for you, what is the important thing working with agent or choosing an agent? That the agent understand my uh, needs. Mm -hmm. So that's basic thing. Oh, okay, but uh, let's say that you have extra money on a side mm. and 
first of all, you have some money on a side for buying a property and some extra for investing. Would you still invest on a property or somewhere else, your business or stock something? Well, I still invest in my business, so mm-hmm. it's not like I'm going to put everything on my on my property. Definitely mm-hmm. not. The only thing is, it's very difficult to decide because, as, as you can see, also in Malta, it's uh, it's growing quite fast, and the mm-hmm. prices are rising sky high. So, well, half half. The property which you want to buy will it be your full time living or it is a rental investment? Both. Ah, okay. You are living in it and then going to rent it for someone. Because in the future, I I'm gonna definitely move out. Okay. For people from Poland, they are coming to Malta for living longer and having their own property also, maybe renting or buying through an agent. What advice you would give to them? So I will definitely advise to find a property that. Um, Maybe let's start from the beginning. Maybe start looking for before, but never pay deposit. So make sure that you are coming to Malta and you actually see the property before renting out. Uh-huh. So I mean, I understand the, the point of deposit, but do not pay deposit online. Come to Malta, see how is the life here. Come for at least one month mm-hmm. to see how how you like the vibes of the island because it's completely different than my own country. So. Right. It's, it's different. That makes sense. A good advice. And at the end, a piece of best advice for real estate agents also. So listen your clients, please. That's very important. One of the most important thing and, uh, and a part of that communication. Just upgrade your communication skills because this is a must have. Here. Thank you very much. Good luck on your business and house hunting. That is basically from me today. You saw how many great answers we got from people and it will help us a lot because we are in sales industry. Remember, in a sales industry, you have to listen to your clients. You have to know what is their requirement, what they are asking from you, what is their needs. And after that, you can sell your product. Remember, you are not going to sell your product. You are selling some motivation, some emotion or whatever feeling they need from you. Today's video sponsor is Valid property check this channel you will see a lot of property views you will see a lot of house tours view don't forget hit the like and subscribe button i appreciate you i see you in the next video bye